Hello creatives and welcome back to this channel. My name is Giselle and I hope that you're doing fabulously well today. I was not planning on doing a video <laughs> and as I was sitting and taking a time of meditation, actually I just finished a class that I, I led meditation in and then I had my own time. Um, this idea came to me um, that I was processing and so here I am because I was like, ooh, I want to share this. It feels good to share this right now. So I'm going to go ahead and share this right now. And it's just really asking the question, who and what are you anchored in? This, along with so many other topics or talks that I have, can be applied to any area of your life. I mean, any area of your life. Um, and so I take it from a point of your creativity and your goals and your desires and your dreams as well as the inner, the innermost part of you as a person, who you are, what are you anchored to? What are you anchored in? Or who are you anchored to? And so the first thing is, and I'll give like a story to kind of explain further where this came from, but when you think of an anchor, I'm on a boat right now, <laughs> so that kind of plays into it as well. But when you think of an anchor, the whole point of an anchor is to hold something in place. You hold it in place either because you're saying, okay, I have arrived. This is the location that I want to be at right now for this period of time. Or you put down an anchor because the waves around you, the situation around you is a little shaky, right? It's a little unpredictable and you want to make sure that you don't go floating away. You want to stay in that location wherever it is, whether you are docked or whether you are in the middle of the ocean or you are on a lake somewhere, you want to stay in that location and it's because everything else around you is really rocky right now. And so that's kind of the idea of this anchor and where I'll be going um, forward with in my talk. So the first thing is, what are you anchored to? Are you anchored to something that has um, roots? It's a pole that goes all the way down, right? Um, are you anchored to something that goes all the way down, that has structure, that has a foundation that it is attached to so that you can attach yourself to it? And is it stable enough for you? Whether it is the anchor or um, the post of, of your beliefs in yourself and your, your talent and your capability, um, how far you can go, the beliefs in your dreams, like what are you grounded by? What are you grounded by? A lot of these boats out here, well, all of them actually, if they are docked, they have multiple ropes that goes around different pillars that they are attached to, right? So if I turn, you may be able to see, you see this right here in the middle, that right there, and you'll see one right here next to my boat, or my family boat, um, where it's, it's, tied there's ropes tied around it because those go so deep they go really really deep even in the midst of the water they go all the way down and so no matter what the weather is the boats will hold on to it and they'll rock and they'll sway with the, the waves but they're not gonna go floating away right so now you have to make sure that you're tied properly as well so if you found yourself you're like yeah I'm anchored I'm tied around this this um, structure that goes all the way down. It's grounded and it is strong. It won't move. Are you tied properly? Are you just kind of thrown over there? That's a little loop thrown over it. Or are you, you've got that right knot, right? You're not going nowhere. And that kind of goes in with our thoughts and with our attempts of, okay, well, I'll give it a shot. This is something that I want. I really do want it, but I'm just going to half do it. I'm going to half try. That's like taking your rope and just like throwing it over there loosely. You're not tying it, not understanding that you need an actual knot to hold you there. Or your thoughts, okay, I'm going to believe. I'm going to choose to think thoughts that will work for me, that will benefit me. Um, someone even said, asking yourself, is this thought going to support or in line with my desired goal, my desired reality. So if it is, then it's not it. But if it's not, then you kind of just throw in it. Okay, I'm going to think this thought. I'm going to focus on paying attention to my thoughts and thinking things that are, are in align with where I want to go today. But tomorrow, you forget. So then that little loop 
can easily slide off and then you go sailing into the middle of the ocean again and you feel like you are just by yourself floating so that is what are you anchored towards the next one is who are you anchored to like who are you anchored to what are you anchored to and who are you anchored to and that is a lot about your environment your community are they in the same are they in alignment with where you want to go do you have someone who is a step or two above you even if it's just on youtube right now that's fine until you find someone in person or is everyone either like loosey-goosey and floating around in randomness as well you know or or are you the most um clear-minded person of your group because whoever you are with whoever you build your community around whatever environment you are in my love that's what you're anchored to that's who you're anchored to and if they are not anchored right if they if their loops are all loose or they don't even have their ropes out to hold them onto anything but you've attached yourself to them when they go floating out into the abyss guess where you're gonna go floating out into the abyss as well so be aware of your environment be aware of the words in your environment the mindsets within your environment you can't control everyone and you can't even control your family right but you can be more aware of what you are allowing into your circle into your sphere into your environment the mindset that you are allowing the actions that you are allowing you can be aware of that and you can make that difference you can make that choice okay so we did the who, we did the what, and then was there another one? I can't remember if there was another one or not. There probably was, but I think you'll be good with those two. Um, and then I wanted to give this story. So my, my lovely family member purchased a boat and the first time that I was on it was earlier this year. And the day that I came, it was, the season had just started. So the weather was still a little up and down. Um, and so when I came that first night, my first time on this boat by myself, sleeping overnight, <laughs> it was a storm. And actually it was the first two days, actually. It was a storm and I remember that when I was awake, I was like, okay, I'm good. I just go and check the ropes on both sides of the boat. We're good. We haven't floated away. Yes, we're good. That night I had so many dreams of waking up wondering okay am i in the middle of the ocean like did i did i leave or am i still am i still attached to the dock because the waves were just like rocking the boat back and forth i mean seriously and this was my first time but because i knew that i was anchored because i knew the boat was secure the the waters were were rocky the waves were they were waving but because i knew that I was securely attached to a structure. I was anchored to a structure that was not going to move. I was able to go back to sleep. And the next day I was like, okay, we're good. It's gonna be rocky tonight, but we're good because of what I was anchored to. And so I encourage you with this, be aware of what you are anchored to, who you are anchored to. And some of that comes from in here. Be anchored to the version of yourself that you desire to be. The version of the artist, the performer, the creative, whatever modality you have. Having a clear vision of what that looks like and then throwing your rope, baby, around that thing a couple of times and not of it, knotting it real good. So that when you have those moments where those old thoughts of doubts and insecurity try to come up, you know, I'm anchored. I ain't going nowhere. We're going to do this. When all this noise stop, I'm still going to be here. So take this message with you, whoever it is for. If you are here, if you've listened and you've gotten to the end of this video, know that it's for you. It's for you. I don't know what you're facing or where you're going, but this is for you. Be encouraged, stay anchored to the things that's gonna lead you to your desired reality, to the place, to the dreams that you know that God has for you and that you desire for yourself. 
hold on to that. Until next time, live fully.